John Brock? John Brock. John Brock. Who's John Brock? Wow. The question. John Brock is like the godfather of fundraising. Check that. Copy that. He's the Jack Bauer of fundraising. Known John a long time, and I tell you what, he can get the job done. John is my pastor. Boy, I don't know about that. I think I'll be getting saved every Sunday morning and baptized every Sunday night, though. The guy can make it happen. Hey guys, thanks for loaning John to us for a week every year. We know that the sacrifice is tough, but we do appreciate it. John Brock. John Brock. Well, to all of my friends at New Hope Church, hello, I'm Tammy from the Family Friendly Morning Show at WBFJ. Now, I've got a few things I wanna tell you. First of all, some churches send their pastors on cruises or great vacations or you know, do things like that, send them out to dinner. You guys send your pastor to us. And while we appreciate the thought Maybe next year a cruise would be a better idea. I mean, I love John Brock and all, but he's just a little, I don't know, a little different. This year, he compared me to his 36-year-old underwear. Yeah, that cruise is looking better all the time. In fact, I'm thinking I may even contribute to the Pastor Brock Cruise Fund. No, but in all seriousness, we love your pastor. and. He does a great job here at WBFJ helping us uh, raise funds during our share -a -thon. So thank you for sending your Pastor John here to us. And thank you also for your gift because I understand that your church has gotten together also to support WBFJ, which blows my mind because we're not even in your area. So the fact that you do that is really pretty cool too. So we thank you for that as well. And just know that we pray for you and we pray for your church fellowship. We know that you're in a very, very difficult area in the country right now that economically Michigan has really taken a hit and so we do pray for you and um, we're praying that eventually you'll find a decent pastor too. John Brock. John Brock! Oh! You know we couldn't do share without John Brock. He and Dave Kirby are just awesome. Uh, and thank you a lot for just like releasing John for a couple of days to come to North Carolina one of the greatest states in the Union. Beautiful weather, sunshine, 80 degrees, unemployment about 1%. Seriously, we love John Brock. You guys have a blessing with John Brock. And uh, you know, every year during share at least since I've been here, I'm pretty sure that John's been uh, right along with us and you know, helping to further the gospel through Christian Radio and WBFJ. He does this for a lot of radio stations around the country. And, you know, it's really great for you guys to kind of release him for a couple of days to go do his thing. And he's really almost like a, a, a mini evangelist as he's raising money. He's, he's sharing stories and proclaiming the gospel in a very creative way. He's a gifted man, and he's a salesperson too, so be careful. John Brock. John Brock. Um, words escape me. John Brock. What a man. <laughs> no, we're glad to have John part of our family. Um, started with us several years back, and we we're just thrilled to have him, and we're thrilled that you guys have shared him with us. John Brock is like a teddy bear. That's what I think about John Brock. Total sweetheart. Utmost uh, uh, respect for him. Hilarious. Great personality. Loves people. Loves WBFJ and I appreciate him so much. Brock. Hmm. Who is John Brock? Hmm. Well, personally, I know John Brock to be a very lousy manager of fantasy football teams. He makes the most horrible trades in the world and then he blames you when you take him for his trade and he ends up losing the regular season. You know, come to think of it, if John would spend as much time preparing on his sermons as he does playing fantasy football, man, you guys would be so uplifted, it'd be incredible. But in all serious, John's a wonderful guy, and I am so thankful that you guys are willing to let him come to North Carolina to be a part of our share -a We couldn't do what we do without him. He is truly a part of our family, and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for letting him come. Now, if you can get him some help on his fantasy leagues, that'd probably be better than a raise. 
Hey guys, I want to thank you for sharing uh, Pastor John with us. You know, I made a comment the other day on the air that uh, Pastor John Brock is, is our share pastor. I mean, he's become our institution here for share -a As a matter of fact, he's the one that taught us what share is all about. So, uh, without Brock the Rock, Pastor Brock the Rock, without John, no share -a -thon. See you next year. I appreciate John Brock, although that he is a Red Wings fan, we'll, we won't hold that against him. And uh, uh, but Coach Brock is a is a really neat guy. I really like him a whole lot, and you're very fortunate to have him as your pastor. Well, what do I say about John Brock? We've been traveling together for uh, many years now, and I've seen sides of John that none of you want to see. Believe me. And uh, I, we've been through a lot of uh, airports together. We've been through a lot of hotels together. We've been through a lot of fundraising together. I will tell you this, he has the largest head I've ever seen on a human being outside of Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, it's an enormous. I don't know if you've noticed it or not. Maybe some of you sit in church every Sunday going, how could a man have a head that big? But it, it is an enormous head, but uh, I'll tell you what, there's stuff in there. Uh, John Brock is... Uh, one of the most generous men I've ever met. He's one of the most compassionate men I've ever met. He's one of the most giving men I've ever met. And I know because I've been the beneficiary of a lot of his giving. Uh, most of it is, uh, you know, giving me a hard time, but you know, it's still giving. And that's the important thing. Seriously, John is a, an incredible guy and we miss him out on the road, but we're glad that he's uh, going to good use uh, being there with you guys at New Hope. And thank you for uh, lending him to us every once in a while. Oh, that guy. Yeah, he's pretty cool.